Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the another video of Spring Boot. In previous video, we have discussed like what is the like difference between API and a framework and how they are working. Our framework divided into the modules and API are huge, right? coupled, they not provide a boilerplate code. So I don't want to repeat this again. Okay. So if you wanna, wa want to watch this video, just go to my channel. You will find this particular video. Okay. So what is the today's video's agenda? Like uh, I will explain uh, what is a like boilerplate code is and we will see how Spring Framework is a lightweight and how it's make a developer life easy and now how it is easy to learn. Okay. So what is the boilerplate code is? Boilerplate code means piece of code which can be used over and over again. And in the other hand, uh, like other the end, uh, like anyone says that it is a piece of reusable code. Okay like uh, we have discussed in previous video like we are have a requirement of making a connection jdb connection so if we are going with the api we need to write that uh, set of instruction of jdbc like these instructions again and again right so this is a term of boilerplate code i hope it's making sense and you are getting it if you are not getting anything just comment it down i will make you understand okay so now uh, the main important thing is why it is a lightweight why people say it's a lightweight and easy to learn right because okay let me give you the one uh, like uh, a small example i will tell you the story of this then you will easily relate then we will see the like actual example so let's suppose uh, this is you okay and you have this one big chocolate okay like suppose dairy milk okay and if i ask you to uh, like eat this chocolate at once is it possible not possible right you can't eat it right and if i ask you okay just make it in pieces and now eat one by one now eat one by one like this just eat like one two three like this eat so you will say like yeah Shani, it is easy now i can eat in a pieces and like it becomes small i can eat it at like one by one right so this is the same scenario if i want to relate this with framework it is the same scenario with the frameworks that's why people divided the framework in a module so let me make you understand in terms of frameworks so yeah that is let's suppose in our spring framework what happened we have this module named core module okay and on top of that we have aop i am just drawing a general diagram to make you understand okay do not thinking okay this is a proper diagram and orm we will see this aop and this is orm this is transaction this is data jpa okay this is batch many things and this is your JDBC and this is uh, your web now this is not only the modules of spring uh, framework we have a lot of modules okay so now why this is a lightweight and how it is easy to learn so let's suppose you have first requirement of you have this first requirement uh, let me change the color you have the first requirement of making your web application web application okay so what do you need to be like do you need to learn all this framework no you don't need to be learn this whole framework you just need to be learn what just your uh, web plus core okay so as a developer perspective what do you prefer to learn all this particular framework or this two modules because your work will done with the help of this two modules why unnecessary you are learning all these things right now suppose your next requirement is like tomorrow your requirement came next requirement is for making a database application like jdbc application so you can jd uh, not jdbc application so what do you need to be learn from this framework like what do you need to learn from jdbc module plus core this only so that's why you don't need to learn this whole framework your work will done with the help of the modules which you need like whatever the particular type of application you want to build you can go through this framework and you can just 
choose that particular frame or like module and you you are work with done with that particular module so now why i am using the question you will ask me like hey ashwin you told this is a loosely coupled right yeah like you can see here we don't have any dependency between all these like you don't have dependency between uh you don't have dependency between AOP and ORM, you don't have dependency between transaction, you don't have dependency between batch and JDBC and JP and batch, web and all. We only the one thing we have the this core module at the bottom and all the modules on the like stack top of this module, core module. Now you will ask me, hey actually, like yeah, the, we understand that we have modules on the top of this. Uh, we have a stack all these the extreme uh, framework guy, like uh, all these guys are uh place the modules on the top of core but why we are using this core everywhere okay so this is not proper time to be explain this code because after this video we will see in detail the spring core only but i will give you the uh, one basic idea we are using the spring core to managing uh, to collaborating our beans and to managing a life cycle of those beans because a spring core framework generally used for like managing your dependencies like what are the dependency you have so we will see what are the like dependency injection ioc container in detail so do not worry about it so that's why we are using this particular core at the bottom and these all things are uh, using uh, with core module so now you can see here also like if you have a requirement with using this uh, web module so you need to become here and using this core plus uh, web right and if you have a requirement jdbc you are using this core and jdbc Let's suppose you have a requirement of batch application, spring batch application, then using batch plus core. Because anyhow, you will using this core because this is a very important model. When we are discussing uh, spring core, this is pretty important, like important and interesting model. You will uh, like enjoy that uh, particular part of this spring core. Okay, if you need, if you uh, learn this spring core, everything will be you learn, everything will be easy. Okay, yeah. So that's all for this particular video. Uh, I will uh, just see you next video. Till then, just take care. Bye bye.